Remote and beautiful, this part of BC attracts adventure seekers, but it can be deadly. Two Nelson police officers rode snowmobiles to this isolated cabin north of Caslow, BC. They went skiing here, and then tragedy. An avalanche bore down and buried them. Another group of skiers called for help. So they had used avalanche uh, transceivers to be able to locate um, the, the other uh, person in the avalanche and, uh, and at least recover his body. He had to dig quite a lot to be able to recover the body. 43-year-old constable Wade Tidmore died. He was an avid outdoorsman, a husband and father. Wade was a hard worker, a skilled officer and a dedicated family man. He was a mentor and example to many of our junior officers. Constable Mathieu Nollet was rescued. He's in hospital with serious injuries. Today, the small community of Nelson is in mourning. I do have family members in the forest, not Nelson PD, but um, in the RCMP. So it kind of hits close to home, but it's definitely uh, a somber day for sure. Avalanches in this area are extremely powerful, strong enough to destroy buildings and vehicles. This is the aftermath of what's being called a stage three event. We've had an extreme drought event that's led to multiple buried persistent weak layers in our snowpack. And it really is a house of cards at this point. It's really hard to trust anything. The, the dangers of going into these areas. Right now, the avalanche really risk in parts of BC's hiker, interior of ranges from intermediate to high. And experts say even experienced people are at risk. Once search and rescue gets involved, Unfortunately, 99% uh, of the time, it's a recovery. Uh, you have about 15 minutes to find your partner um, and, uh, and get them out. That warning sadly confirmed again for anyone headed into the backcountry this season. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.